Hey, it's me, Bad Bam, back. So yesterday, I'm kind of a mess, but I had to do, well, I didn't have to, I got a genetic panel done at the Familial Cancer Clinic, which is like run by Peter Mac. It took about two months. You had to get bloods drawn 15 minutes apart at two different locations. So even if I had the port, I mean, they can't access the port, but I couldn't do it through the port. I was just super dehydrated that day and it just took forever. To so many pokes. And I finally got the blood. Usually it takes about four months and it costs like thousands of dollars to do this genetic panel. But I think if you get cancer, then they do it for free. They sped it up because I have surgery coming up. So I got the results yesterday. I don't know what I was expecting or what I was feeling. So she's like, okay, so we did the panel and we found something. I just kind of like burst into tears. You know, I'm relieved because this explains it. I had no family history of breast cancer. I'm young, I'm healthy. This really shouldn't have happened to me. And I thought maybe it was a pill, but now we know <laughs> it's a faulty gene mutation. So I have a mutated ATM gene. Now, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I never heard of it, but, and it's, it's not what you're thinking. If you're like me and you think it's something dirty, <laughs> it's not. This gene is meant to like destroy damaged dna if it tries to like become cancer and obviously because mine's mutated it didn't destroy the cancer genes it can be passed down through either your father or your mother and i was like so whose genes and they were like we don't know so i don't know which one or who gave it to me it means i have a higher chance of getting breast cancer again if i was healthy she said i had a 24 percent chance of getting breast cancer but now that i've got breast cancer there's a 36% chance of me getting it again or something like that. So it doesn't just mean breast cancer, but it's also pancreatic cancer and prostate cancer. Obviously, I don't have a prostate. Pancreatic, that's a scary one. It means I have to contact everyone in my family. But luckily, because I have this gene mutation, that means they can get this genetic screening for free as long as they have a referral from my GP. They don't have to pay the thousands of dollars and... I guess if they want to know, they can get the information. And if they have the gene, they can get screened earlier and more often to hopefully prevent these cancers. It was kind of shitty having to tell them, okay, I'm relieved. Now I kind of know why this happened. But then also it's super shit because then I might get it again. Oh, fuck that. I just have a lot of feelings. But also I guess it's good that this happened to me and not anyone else in my family. I'm glad about that. It also means that, cause I originally wanted to get a double mastectomy and like obviously this side would mean a prophylactic mastectomy. I don't have cancer there, but it's try and stop it coming back. And this genetic counseling lady, she's like, yeah, so it drastically reduces the chance of you getting breast cancer again if you have no breast tissue. I was gonna keep my nipples. I don't know what the chance is, whether it's higher or lower, if I keep them or not. Yeah, I guess I'll have to talk to my surgeon about that. I went down a Reddit rabbit hole. But this woman, so she was like, no, I'm not gonna get a prophylactic mastectomy because then what if it comes back in the pancreas like it did with my mom? Cancer has nowhere else to go and holy is that going to happen? So now I'm kind of freaking out about that. But yeah, I need the peace of mind of having the mastectomy. I can't be constantly worried. So stay tuned.